We've been joined by Natalie, who is, of course, going to be commentating during the second season of BP World ILP20. Natalie, thank you so much for speaking to us, firstly. Absolute pleasure. Thanks very much for having me. And Natalie, tell us a little about how this stint came about and how excited are you uh, to be doing this? Oh, I'm very excited. I was I was very lucky to be able to be part of the first ILT20 last year, and we were all very excited about it, obviously in some ways not knowing what to expect. And I think it all exceeded our expectations because the quality of cricket obviously was very high. Um, I think everyone took it very, very seriously. The players enjoyed themselves too. It was a, a nice experience also being in the UAE for a franchise league too. And, uh, and now it's building up so beautifully, obviously, with the trophy tour and everything that's going on. So I'm starting to feel this amazing build up, even all the way from South Africa. We're actually starting to feel how what the, the excitement that's actually building for it. And Natalie, tell us a little about your own uh, personal journey of reaching uh, to uh, commentating as well from playing to commentating. How has that been? So when I was a little bit younger, um, I always kind of wanted to be involved with the sport because I love cricket so much. But unfortunately, when I was younger, the playing and, and having it as a career obviously wasn't as much of an opportunity. I got the chance eventually to play some club cricket, to coach overseas, to play a little bit with Argentina as well. But obviously... At the time, opportunities were limited. So I chose to study journalism. And fortunately, from there, everything sort of snowballed. I got the opportunity to commentate back in South Africa back in 2005. But recently, because now there's been more opportunities for women within women's competitions, whether it be World Cups, franchise leagues around the world, there's been so much more chance to be able to gain experience around the world and work on leagues like this. And I think it's quite special to, to be able to travel the world, obviously, and work this job that we all love and in a sport that we all love. And we're starting to see more and more women coming through, like, for example, Anju yes. Chopra also working on the ILT20. We've worked a lot together. And I can't wait to be working with her again in the UAE. So it, it, it's 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 been an incredible journey. I've been very, very lucky. Um, but I think the opportunities now within this within the realm of, of commentating, broadcasting is starting to get better and better. And it's thanks to leagues like this, obviously. And um, Natalie, one thing that I want to ask is we are seeing a paradigm shift when we talk about women athletes in various sports. Do you think the same is happening in the commentary box as well in comparison uh, to uh, the men that are there? Yeah, I think, you know, it's an, it's an interesting, I think we find ourselves in a very interesting time at the moment. We are starting to see, obviously, the coverage of women's sports has increased so much. And within women's sports, there's still a lot of men that cover women's sports. And that yes. seems very sort of accepted. Um, but when you look at men's sports, are there, is it as accepted to have women? It wasn't a few years ago, but it's definitely changed quite dramatically over the last few years. And that's because we are being afforded the opportunities to be able to work on the big leagues that are obviously gaining amazing coverage. I mean, ILT20, for example, last year, you've got two females working on it, you've got the amazing hosts that are part of it as well last year too, the likes of Laura McGoldrick, who will be there again this year. And these are people who obviously have a lot of experience around the world and they're starting to work on these major leagues, which are mostly male leagues and mostly male dominated. But we're starting to see that women certainly coming through a lot more and being afforded these opportunities. And it gains so much exposure, obviously, as an example, of ILT20 on the, on the Z channels that are all back in India, second most watched league. And, and here we are, we've got women working on it at front and centre. So I think it's different, it's changing. Um, we all wanted to obviously continue to change and to continue to see more opportunities. But I think we are certainly headed in the right direction. Well, Natalie, thank you so much for your time. And here's looking forward to the second season of DP World ILT 20.